Hey guys, Jake here coming at you with another math problem today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to solve the separable differential equation du dr equals 1 plus the square root of r all over 1 plus the square root of u. And I wanted to do something a little different today. So what we're going to do is if this video gets 10 likes or more within a week after I upload it, I'm going to come out with an extra bonus video for you guys next week. So be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified when that bonus video comes out. And uh, yeah, be sure to hit the like so we can get that. So anyways, I wanted to show you how to solve a separable differential equation problem because this is one of the formulas on my Calculus 2 study guide. Uh, and in fact, this separable differential equation that was given is already in the form that we want it to be in in order to use the formula on that study guide. So be sure to hit that link down in the description or in the pinned comment if you want to check out my Calculus 2 cheat sheet. Um, should help you get through your homework and study for tests a lot easier But I want to show you how to use the formula on that study guide right now So pretty much what that formula says is we want to basically get a Differential equation so that we have you know d dy dx or du dr or whatever your variables are on one side and then equaling some function of one of your variables divided by some function of the other variable so the idea here is our, our R's and our U's are basically separated from each other already, right? We have this function of R on the numerator of our fraction and this function of U on the denominator. So what we can do right off the bat basically is we can cross multiply these, since we have one fraction equals another fraction, we can cross multiply the denominator of one times the numerator of the other and set that equal to the denominator of this one times the numerator of this one. So basically doing that, we're just gonna get one plus the square root of u, and then all in parentheses, being multiplied by du, and that's gonna be equal to one plus the square root of r, all in parentheses, times dr. So basically, based on the, the formula in my study guide, what we did is we just separated our variables, right? So we got all of our u's on the same side of our equation as our du, and on the other side of our equation is all of the r's and the dr. So it's completely separated. We have only u's on one side, only r's on the other side. Now what we want to do at this point is just integrate both sides. So basically from here, we can basically just add the integral sign to both sides of our equation. And now what that tells us is we have this function on the left side that we're going to integrate with respect to u because we have a du over here. And then we have this function on the right side that we're going to integrate with respect to r because we have a dr over here. So before we actually integrate these functions, what I would recommend is rewriting the square root as a power. So what we're actually going to get then is the integral of 1 plus u to the 1 half, right? Because something raised up to the 1 half power is the same as taking the square root of it and then we're gonna be integrating that with respect to u. And then on the other side, same idea, we're gonna have the integral of one plus r to the one half with the dr over here. So now to integrate each of these functions, we can do that with the power rule. So the power rule just says, well, the integral of one is just gonna be u because u is our variable over here. The integral of one is just whatever variable you're integrating with respect to. And then the, the power rule tells us to integrate this, we can raise our power by one. So one half plus one is the same as doing one half plus two halves, which is three halves. So raising our power by one is gonna give us three halves. And then we would divide by the new power. So we would divide by three halves. But dividing by three halves is the same as multiplying by two thirds, multiplying by the reciprocal of three halves, which is two thirds. And then once we've integrated, our du is just gonna disappear basically. That's just an indicator of what we're integrating with respect to. And then over here, same idea. We're integrating with respect to r now. So r is our variable, which means the antiderivative of one is just r. And then again, we're gonna raise our power by one up to three halves and then multiply by the reciprocal of that new power. So the other thing we wanna keep in mind is when you integrate, typically you would add a plus C at that point. So what we could do is say plus C onto both sides of our equation. However, in this case, when you're, when you're doing these separable differential equations, you really just wanna add the plus C to one side of your equation, and it's typically gonna be the side of the equation that is the variable of 
the function that you're given. So what I mean by that is, in this case, we were given du, dr. So du, u is on the top, r is on the bottom. That tells us that du, dr represents the derivative of our function u, which is a function of the variable r. So whatever's on the bottom is your variable. Whatever's on the top is your function. So what that tells us is when we are solving this differential equation, we want to solve for u in the end, and that's going to be a function of r. So what that means is in this plus c step, we can just add a plus c on the side of our variable, which is r. And this is actually kind of a weird problem because at this point we've gotten you know, all of our u's on one side, all of our r's on the other side. We've done the integration step, so we don't have that du or dr anymore. We just have u's and r's, which is what you want. But the reason this is weird is because, you know, typically with these separable differential equations, you want to get it into a form that's like, you know, u equals a bunch of stuff with r. And there's, you know, just you've just solved for that one variable. But sometimes that's not actually really possible. And this is actually one of those cases because there isn't going to be a way that we can algebraically manipulate this equation here so that we just have u equals some function of r basically it's not really going to be possible because we have this u and this u to the three halves here you know typically when you see something like this what you hope for is that you can factor out all of your u's and just be left with some numbers within parentheses and then you can divide that over something like that happens sometimes but in this case that's not really going to be possible so in fact this is actually the best we're going to be able to do and this is going to be the solution to this separable differential equation. And notice we do have this plus C still in our answer. If we had an initial condition that we had to fulfill, we could solve for that plus C. But in this case, this is going to be the answer. So again, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, smash up the, that thumbs up button. If we get 10 likes within a week of this video being uploaded, I'll put out an extra bonus video for you guys next week. Thanks and see you next time.